Hi lovelies, so we're gonna do a follow me fibro day today, I think. Um, I woke up and I don't know where my dad is, and he usually, oh look, I'm like white. Well, I am white, but, um, I woke up today and I don't know where my dad is, and he usually gives Bella her breakfast, because otherwise she hassles me for hours and hours. And she was just in bed, shivering. Like, you have to understand, my room is so hot that, like, when people walk into it, they're like, whoa, this is like a sauna. Um, because I just, and I, like, have quilts and fleeces and, like, this whole, like, nest that I sleep in with Bella. And she's there, like, shivering. I'm like, yeah, right. Um, so I'm probably going to feed her. And it's absolutely gorgeous out. And I'm feeling okay. So, I think that I'm going to try to go down to the beach because I walked to the beach last night and I was, I had a really hard night last night emotionally. Um, I just had a lot of breakdowns and just thinking about the past and um, I got some upsetting emails about things being returned to me and it just really was upsetting and it's really hard for me to express to other people how I'm feeling and like what I'm going through because I just feel like nobody will understand so it's just it's hard for me I can't say it like write it at all because I have freaking vibro and then to say it is still really difficult so um it just was a bad situation that I wasn't even really given the opportunity to even try to explain myself so um, it's just still really upsetting, but they made the decision to not be, um, a part of my life anymore. Um, so I have to respect that, and, but it's still, it's sad, and I'm still gonna be upset about it, so, um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, so I think I'm gonna try to go to the beach, and, um, so last night when I walked down there, he was like, you know, I should walk down during the day and just go for a little bit because I just love the beach so much and it's so good for my, um, fibro, just, um, laying on the hot sand and things like that is, is so good for it. Um, my chiropractor told me that when I, like, first moved here, so, um, I think I'm going to try to do that and I'll take you guys with me, so, um, yeah. I'm just letting Bella out and then I'm probably going to feed her so she stops shivering and then get ready for the beach. See you in a little bit! I was just watching people on the beach, and of course the lifeguard has to come by. There he goes. Um, I was just thinking, someone was walking by and they just jumped in the water, and it made me really sad because I remember doing that. Like I used to be able to just jump right in the water when the waves were kind of choppy, and I like to be in the water. I don't like to be on the sand. It makes me uncomfortable, especially if I'm by myself. I don't know why. Um, but I just went in and like waited a little bit and the waves were just too much like I can't go in by myself. Um, I could only go in if one of my friends was with me because um, I don't want to die. <laughs> but it just made me sad because I just love being in the water so much. It's so beautiful and it's just not something I can be part of anymore. And I think that's like part of being ill is there's always these little parts that we're mourning and we're always seeing these little things that we used to be able to do at least for me because I I haven't always been ill um, so I had a great life and then it just all kind of got swept away in the waves like I would if I went in by myself now I don't know if I would but it's just 
um, a precaution. But um, it sure is beautiful out here and I need to think about things that I have, not things that I don't have or I'm not able to do anymore because I'm able to walk down to the beach and sit here, which I wasn't able to when I was healthy because I didn't live near the beach. So I need to think about that stuff. So I'll check in later because I'm going out to dinner and then to the movies. So now I am off to meet up with my friends and um, I love when my friends do stuff. I don't know if your friends do this, but um, we tend to like meet up in an area that's like more central to all of us or closest to one of us because um, I live really far away from everybody. I live about a half hour from pretty much anywhere we would meet, but it's a lot nicer meeting a half hour than 50 minutes, which it would take me 45 to 50 minutes to drive just to the movie theater. So, and it's nice because we all get to go together and um, I just remembered I didn't bring my pain pills. That's what my thought is going to. Ah, hopefully I have something in my bag. If not, this movie's gonna be a long movie. Oh well. Um, I don't like to take my pain medicine when I drive, so I didn't take it before I left. Oh well, there's people in this convertible behind me and they have a surfboard, it looks really funny. Um, but yeah, so it's really nice because then we get to all ride together and then after the movie we get to all ride together instead of kind of like, after the movie like, okay, bye, and then you go in your own car and it's like, well, that kind of sucks. You see, it's talk about the movie and, you know, just like say goodbye and not like have to be rushed about it. So I like when we do it that way. Um, most of the times my friends have to come pick me up. So if I can drive, um, I let whomever know that I can drive because um, it's really rare. And it's, it's a half hour drive there and back. So usually someone has to drive an hour to, if, to pick me pick me up and then take me to the place. It's, it's almost two hours of driving because then they have to take me home too. So, um, so I really appreciate it and I love them for it, but I mean, it's pretty expensive and kind of sucky, you know, I would, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it for my friends and I have, so they're just kind hearted people, but I think about it. And so, if I can drive, I most definitely do, and I just don't take my pain pills, and I just kind of deal with it as best I can, so. I don't know what I'm talking about, but hopefully I remember, I just hopefully I remember to film when we're at the restaurant, because I just always get really excited and I forget. <laughs> um, but hopefully I'll check back in with you. I definitely will at the end of the night if I forget, so. Alright, see you in a little bit. Gone straight on the road now. I had one of those Ulta deals, so I got that free. It's amazing. Mm. Ew. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> to make your hair feel tight, like. It definitely gives you the beach hair. This <laughs> <laughs> is probably good why I'm sitting next to her. She can't get a good shot out of me. Looks like you know I'm really stuffing my face right now. Just <laughs> eat and <laughs> blue beans. <laughs> Say hello, Emily. Hello. Oh, Sam's not doing it. Kristen's doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. You sound special. <laughs> Ow, oh, it hurts my tongue. <laughs> it hurt a little bit. It hurts yeah, not my tongue, but my hair will whip. Yeah. Yeah. I'll... No, no, not my inner lip. My like <laughs> under my tongue. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Like right under my teeth, I guess. My inner gum? <laughs> 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 oh gosh, that scared me. Oh wait. Should go this way. Adventures in Target. There's a body pillow. <gasps> I need a body pillow. Everybody needs a body pillow. No, I for real need a body pillow though. They're amazing. 